Good day everyone. You are welcome to Rijiko Body School, Mbidi. And I uh, welcome you all to this new term. I welcome you all, specifically the SS1 student, to this new class. I am by name Sanusi Samwe Eindero. And I'm going to be your physics teacher. Of course, many of you would have uh, heard about physics. And some of you are hearing it for the first time. Some are even have been told that physics is very hard. Of course, it's the simplest subject you can ever have. You always have A in it, as simple as it is. So just relax as we dive into it. Uh, this class is going to be a kind of introductory class, which I divided into two, which means in our teaching series, the unit one and unit two of this series is going to be the introductory part. So, in this unit one, the basic things we need to know is just the definition and the scope of physics. Uh, you should also be able to list the branches or topics covered in physics. Now, let's begin. Now, what is physics? Physics is just like other science subjects. Of course, sciences study matter. What is matter? We say matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. We have been taught that right from in a, right from our junior secondary school. We say anything that has weight and occupies space. And we shall classify it into three phases. We call them solid, liquid, and gas. We can also classify them into two major, which we call the living and non-living. Of course, biology takes the living part, the living matter, and the solid living matter. Why physics, I mean, why uh, in chemistry they study the chemical properties, the chemical contents, and the composition of matter. But in geology, they study the rocks, and so on. They are all matter, they are all the study of matter. But what else did physics study? Physics study everything, both living, non-living, and everything. So everything else, and that is why physics can be applied to both biology, chemistry, geology, or anything you can think of. Physics is the study of just everything. Of course, we say study of natural things that occur around us is what we call physics. Now let's take the proper definition of physics. Physics is the study of matter in relation to energy. That is, the interaction that exists between matter and energy is what physics study. Of course, we say the study of natural things, natural occurrence that happen around us at their most uh, fundamental level, their most basic level. And that is what we can call physics. Of course, we say physics is the soul of all sciences. As we study everything that happen around us, the way we eat, talk, sing, everything we do, sitting down, running, flying, or jumping, or driving. In fact, they are all physics. Now, everything you do, think of it as physics. Uh, in physics, we divide the branches and the topics we are going to be covering into seven major parts. The first six are called the classical. They are they happen, they are the physics that were studied be, before 1900. That is 1900. Why the last one called modern physics uh, is a physics that are studied after 1900 and so. So we have the magnets, the electricity, the magnetism, the waves, physical optics, and thermodynamics with your modern physics now in our next unit you should be able to define at least write short notes about all the seven uh, aspects of physics endeavor to uh, solve and submit the class activity below so you can move to the next unit see you in the next unit thank you very much for listening